Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today we wanted to do a video on Eugenia Kunu. So she just posted a video and she hasn't done one for about five months uh, saying that she's back. Um, I literally just watched it and bless her, like it must no. have been so hard for her and in the video she just looks really like she just keeps saying about how hard it is and that she's been in rehab. She, she, I think she just finds it really hard to talk about because it's obviously quite fresh. Yeah. And, and, and it was kind of hidden for so long, wasn't it? Well, not physically hidden. Yeah, but, true. But she hadn't admitted anything no. or said anything about it. It was almost as if nothing was wrong. Yeah. Um, um, I watched Shane Dawson's video. This is how I knew that uh, Eugenia, I keep calling her Guana. It's the way I read things. Eugenia Cooney had f come back because she went missing, didn't she? But I think everyone missing knew. off the internet, not yeah, <laughs> missing in life. Um, yeah, I watched. I saw the video come up. I thought it was clickbait at first. I was like, oh. is it going to be like some weird thing? And it wasn't. It was he had messaged her and was like, should we do? I think I think they were in because Eugenia's video was entitled what I missed when I was in rehab with Shane Dawson. Have you not seen the Shane Dawson and Eugenia one on her channel? No, I've just seen his one. Wow, so there's now one on her channel where what I missed when I was in rehab with Shane Dawson. Oh. So I think they was in rehab together and then, um, cause then I clicked on his channel and he also hadn't posted a video until, for so five months. So he was in rehab too? They must have been in there together. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I thought he just did the documentary on her. I don't think so, because he also, oh, wow. that was his first video for five months too. Oh. I think. Because I... Correct me if I'm wrong though. Because he, I think he contacted her and was like, how are you doing? I think he generally cared about her. He was sure like, how are you do, doing? Sure. And she messaged back saying, I'm getting some help. And bless him, it came across really well. He was like, you know, I didn't know how she was, but at least she admitted she was getting help. And he was mm. like, that... That is the biggest thing in recovery is mm. to admit that you need help. And I think then he was like, okay, this could actually be something really good. Yeah. And he wanted to document her recovery, or not her recovery, just talk to her about it. Mm. Um, I think the documentary was done really well, actually. I was really impressed by how he did it. And he really, he spoke to someone professional and was like, you know, how do I approach the situation? what do I do? And she was like, she was talking about how to speak to him, how to speak to her, sorry. The one thing I will say is that the music in the background was quite like spooky. Mm. It was quite like But if you look at his videos though, he yeah, does things they are like, like that. Um, oh, I can't remember what they're called now, but he looks into deep things. Yeah, he looks into deep, and to be honest, it's to keep so the maybe. audience watching. And mm. for them, if it keeps them watching, then, mm. then that's brilliant. I think it just put a slight bit of, uh, scariness in talking to someone with an eating disorder yeah. and being open about it. However, it is his documentary, so and it did work. Like I was like, oh, okay, fair enough. It did mm. bring some tense, but then you don't want that around the subject. Mm. So I just um, I felt a bit sad for Eugenia because she was saying about how the internet's so toxic and that like she's had a lot of people who like have been really nasty basically but she sort of went around the houses about how she said it but that's basically what it was and she felt really loved when Shane Dawson posted up the video about her and that there were people like being really positive about her yeah. and she just looked like really uh what's the word oh content no that oh, um surprise no she looked really like on edge, like nervous doing the video, and she was literally like, I just don't really know what else to say. And yeah, I think lesser. I think the thing with anorexia is that she was probably finding some kind of purpose in the anorexia, mm. and she might not have thought that anyone would like her if not. Mm. Even even all the comments were saying you need help, etc. That's what the anorexia does. Whereas because mm. Shane posted this video and had such positive feedback. I think that's a good thing. I think maybe she thought, hang on, like, I have still got an audience without this and I have still got a purpose. Mm. Well, she was saying in hers that she, I think she knew deep, 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 deep down that there was a problem. Oh, yeah. She but she don't. said that she didn't really know, like, how she didn't really realise that it was that serious. Yeah. Like her head was obviously so... Well, that's what the anorexia does, doesn't it? You get to such a low weight and you think you're fine. That's the weird thing, you still look in the mirror and you're like, I'm fine, like I need to lose a bit more. That's the distortion, made that word up. Mm -hmm. um, 
that it does, but just the fact that she's found help and she's open about it mm. and talking about it is like is amazing, isn't mm. it? So yeah, Eugenia and Shane Dawson, and it's so good she she had the courage to, to document it because it mm. shows that mm. other people can reach out for help mm. too. And she said at the end of her video that anyone who is struggling and stuff, you're not alone, and please yeah. find help. So um, also, it's really nice. So let's all please be supporters of, of Eugenia. Yeah, I'm sure be, everyone will anyway. I don't know. There's loads of negativeness. Hopefully the positive will override the I negative. I hope so, because she just needs loads of loving and support, I think. Yeah. And I showed a video of her house, and her house is really cool. Oh, is it? She's really quirky. I think yeah. that's why so many people love her, because she's quirky and she's different. Mm -hmm. And her house is really cool, so yeah, yeah you've probably seen the documentary anyway. But we just thought we'd do a video on it, because bye! bye.